welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine. I realize I haven't done one in almost two years and it's also a requested video from some of you guys. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share some of the products that I've been using recently that I've also been liking. And of course, just a little reminder, I do have combination dried skin and I do break out um, once a month, I would say, during uh, my period when my hormones fluctuate. So some of these products that I mentioned will be targeting that type of skin. Anyhow, let me get started. So in the morning, I am very, very simple now. I pretty much wake up, I wash my face with cold water. Um, cold water is really, really good for your skin. One. It not only wakes you up in the morning, because I know it's really, really hard to get up. I mean, especially when your bed is nice and warm and comfy, right? I'm sure most of you guys have this issue like I do. And so that wakes me up. And second of all, it also tightens my pores. So it actually helps me or preps my skin for whatever that needs to be done on it throughout the day. So after that, I do moisturize my face. Um, you're probably like, Maddie, you didn't really clean it. Well. Pretty much, I don't want to strip away that, you know, my natural oil that pretty much built up throughout the night. But aside from that, I still need to hydrate my, my face because I've already pretty much wiped it down with cold water. I've been really liking the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is for pretty much head to toe kind of thing. I use this whenever I break out or, you know, anytime. And it doesn't irritate my skin and I've been really, really liking it. So, you know, I go to work, you know, a full day of work and I come home, the first thing I want to do is probably, you know, wipe off whatever I had on. And normally in the morning I would have put on some concealer and do my eyebrows and, you know, put on some lip color of some sort before I walk out of the house or, you know, sometimes I have a cushion foundation on. So with all that being said, you know, throughout the day it also builds up dirt and dust that's in the air. So the first thing I like to do when I get home is wipe all that off. and. I really, really like using a cleansing wipe first, which is, um, I've been really liking the simple, this is the Sensitive Skin Expert Micellar Makeup Remover Wipes. I know I've used up this whole pack already and I've done a comparison video for this, so I'll probably link it somewhere here so you guys can go and check that out. I really like it, it's a big sheet that's enough to pretty much wipe off everything that's on my face, from all the way to my lips. Sometimes I find with uh, makeup wipes because they're not big enough that my lip part is where I need to grab another wipe in order to get it off. So I've been really liking this. So I'll probably be purchasing more of that. And on days where I don't have that much makeup on, then I would just resort back to my Garnier Micellar Water. This is the all-in-one. Really liking it. As you can tell, I only have a little bit left. And I pretty much put it on a cotton pad and then just wipe off whatever is needed. So you might think, that's all you do? Well, no, I love to double cleanse. Double cleanse is like the thing for me because I can't just do that and call it, oh, I'm done, I'm done for the day. No, I'm not. Unfortunately, I get a little paranoid, so I go to cleansing my face. I've been using the Body Shop Aloe Calming Cream Cleanser. This is really great for when I break out as well because it's really gentle and it is formulated for sensitive skin. I can't say I necessarily have sensitive skin because I use different products, but at the same time, this does me well. Like I can use it anytime, like whether if I have, you know, combination dried skin or when I break out, it works great. And of course, I do exfoliate my skin at least once a week, so I've been using the Body Shop Seaweed Pore Cleansing Facial Exfoliator. This is for combination oily skin, but because I only use it about once a week, and sometimes even once in two weeks, because this is a, can be a bit harsh because of the, um, the, the, the little beads that they have inside that help you exfoliate your skin does the job. And then on days when I think, you know, my nose area collected more gunk because I have bigger pores there, I go for my Re-Ray Black Head Brush Cleanser. Did a full first impression on this, so I'll probably link it here as well so you guys can go and check it out. And then of course, I move on to toning my face. I recently finished um, a toner and I moved on to this one and I've been really, really liking it. And that is the L'Occitane Gentle Cleanser. I know I only have a sample size, but I got this from the Advent Calendar and I've been really liking it. So I'll probably be purchasing the full size one. I love how it has a pump so you can either squirt it all over your face 
or put it on a cotton pad and you know just wipe it down on your face so I feel like after I've done all that it's good for me to start prepping my skin for hydration so this is one of the items that I use and that is the Misha Time Revolution the first treatment essence in intense moist I've done a whole comparison video on this so make sure you guys do go and check that out I'll probably link it here as well I've just been loving it. It pretty much clears up the pores so that it allows the moisturizer to seep in a lot easier, a lot faster, and it, it's just really good, <laughs> I have to say. And of course, little goes a long way, as you can tell. I didn't even make a dent because I only use about two drops, maximum three. Three sometimes is already too much for me. So yeah, love it. And recently, I've been using this as part of my face moisturizer. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. Super intense. I barely made a dent because a little goes a long way. It's one of those things. And I have a huge tub of it, so it's probably going to last me for some time. So aside from that, I got to, you know, also hydrate my eyes. I've been using this from the face shop. I did a whole blog post about this. It pretty much does hydrate my skin, uh, or at least underneath my eyes. So I've been really, really liking it. And of course, we can't forget about the lips. This is something that I've been using pretty much almost every day, and that's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about this. I love it, I rave about it, and it's just great. It, it's an overnight mask where you pretty much just leave on. The next day you just wipe off the extra residue. I sometimes don't. I just leave it on like a lip balm pretty much because it's super hydrating. And it doesn't matter what kind of lip product you put on the next day, you do not feel like it's, you know, drying your lips, which is why I use less of my lip balm now because I prep my skin the night before. So I really, really suggest you guys get this. It might be a little pricey, but... It does last you for a really long time so and you use less product from you know your other things so technically you're saving money right anyhow so those are just my regular general you know skincare routine and on days where I break out I of course move on to using a mask which is the body shop tea tree face mask this one is great when it when I break out and of course I also use the spot treatment as well because it tries to clear some of you know the irritated areas and you know calm it down because of the fact that they use tea tree oil so that's one thing and another thing is throughout the day when I feel I'm a little dried and I need that extra boost I do leave one of these um, balancing moist on my desk um, and pretty much it's like a little pick-me-up during the day whenever I need it I don't use too much of it that's why this travel size one has lost me for for some time, I would say. And of course, on days where I feel like I need that extra boost um, of hydration, and instead of using the Clinique, I would use my Laneige Water Sleeping Pack. You know, I've raved about this, you know, for, for a really, really long time in my other videos as well. And, you know, I barely made much of a dent in it. That's probably why I still have the old packaging on here, but I love it. I just love it and I have to share it with you guys. And I don't have a particular like sheet mask that I've been really liking. I've just been trying out different ones here and there that were either gifted to me or just for me to try out. Um, but I do have a one, I guess, sleeping, or sorry, eye pack that I've been really liking and I've been using for a really long time, and that's the Misha Firming Eye Pack, which I probably talked about in my other videos before too. So this is something that I use to just tighten up you know, your fine lines underneath your eyes, and especially during the time when my eyes are a little bit more tired. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, remember to give me that thumbs up. Once again, I don't have flawless skin. I'm, I'm very flattered to some of you guys who think I do. Um, it's pretty much the magic of makeup, hiding my impurities and enhancing certain features. But anyways, uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos and if you guys have other videos that you want to suggest for me to film, then leave it in the comment section down below. I love communicating with you guys. Um, and yeah, I do upload one to two new videos each week, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on that little bell to get my notifications. And yeah, I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye for now.